Welcome back. In tonight's video, I have strapped a GoPro to my head and I am showing you my point of view of what it's like to resin coat some limited edition prints. So right now I am making sure all the prints are level. You don't want resin dripping off the sides, so I just like to make sure I can get these as perfect as possible before I actually pour the resin on. All right, first print. If you notice here, I'm setting it on an old paint can. I do this because it makes it easier to handle, and if I have any resin drip off the side, it's a lot easier to clean it up this way than if I have the print just laying on a piece of plywood. This is an old paintbrush I found that I will use to stir the resin. And it's good to put on these latex gloves because this resin gets super sticky and you just don't want to get it on your skin. So I have two cups here. I use this brand called Envirotex and I just pour the hardener into one cup. I just kind of eyeball it because this is a one to one ratio mix which is really hard to screw up. Now I'm going to pour the resin in this other cup. And one little secret I've kind of discovered is that if you have a little bit more hardener than resin, it almost works better. If you have too much resin, there's a good chance the resin will never fully cure and it'll just be sticky forever. So I always put a tiny bit more hardener than resin. And because I like to overthink everything, I always make sure to pour the resin into the hardener. And my theory is that you can never get all of the resin out of that cup. So I'm still getting a little bit more hardener than resin and I just scrape all that I can out of there and then I stir this for three minutes. So let's just jump ahead three minutes because who wants to watch me do this? Three minutes is up and it is time to pour. So here we go. Let's zoom in. So I pour a good amount on there. I kind of go back and forth. You can see it's about an inch and a half width of resin on there. Then I grab an old business card fold it in half or I tear it in half it just depends and I use that to scrape the resin to the edges of the wood panel this isn't a very exciting process but I love the outcome of the glossy shiny finish that you get so I just kind of spin the print around a bunch of times making sure I scrape the resin to all the edges and get a good coverage so that's probably enough and now I have a little blowtorch here and I use this to get all the air bubbles out of the resin the heat does not help the resin dry any faster. It literally is only used to blow air bubbles out. So I just go back and forth, back and forth. Again, not too exciting, but it's just part of the process. Okay, all the air bubbles are out. As fun as it is to play with fire, it's time to put this thing away. Now what I'm going to do is take the corner of this business card and I pick out any little particles that have landed in the resin probably spend way too much time doing this but I like to get close to make sure there's no little debris that's fallen in the resin. You can see a light coming from the top right corner and it's basically just one of those silver clamp lights but I have it pointed on this area where I'm working so when I get at the right angle it really helps me find anything that's in the resin that I need to dig out. Every once in a while I get a little air bubble that's coming out from under the print and it'll be right on the edge so always make sure to get rid of those too. And print number one is done. I put it in this box which keeps any dust particles out. This resin takes about two days, sometimes three days to fully harden. And in that time you could really ruin your art piece if you don't have it in a dust free area. So if you don't have a box like this you can always just have your prints dry in a cabinet. Sometimes you can just cover them with a cardboard box. Anything that's going to keep the dust out is going to help a lot. Sometimes I find a little dust particle landed in them that I missed. So in that situation, I'll usually do a second layer of resin over it. And that covers it up pretty well, at least enough to make me happy and make the print worthy enough to hang on the wall and good enough to sell. Personally, I don't want anything out in the world that I'm not proud of. So if something weird happens with the resin or there's a weird dust particle or a scratch, I'll do a second coating of resin to cover those mistakes. There's times where I might do a third coat of resin, but at that point I have to accept that I'm being far too much of a perfectionist. And then I just have to accept that it's part of the art. You know, you can only make the resin coating so perfect. And let's slow it back down. I think this is a better shot of getting the dust particles out of the resin. This part can be very time consuming, especially when you're working on a big piece. These little six inch prints, it goes pretty quick. But another thing you need to keep in mind is that after about 35 minutes, this resin starts getting 
very hot and sticky. So after you do the three minutes of stirring in the beginning, you only have about 35 minutes to work with it. So you don't want to mix too much resin in the beginning because you know you have a limited time you can work with it. So it's a little trial and error trying to figure out the right amount that you're going to need for however many pieces you're trying to do. If you'll be coating pieces bigger than what I'm doing here, it's a good idea to actually measure how much resin you're going to need. And this Envirotex brand that I use includes a chart on how much resin you're going to need per square footage. So that's very handy on larger pieces. And here goes print number three. And you've seen this all before, so let's do that fun little time lapse again. Here we go. All right, I'm pretty happy with how this looks. Actually, not quite. I need to retouch this corner a little bit. Okay, that's better. Now this one can go in the box. Nope, just kidding. There's an air bubble I gotta get rid of. These air bubbles are kind of a pain to deal with, but it's a good thing to get rid of them. Okay, now on to the next one. Stir the resin, pour the resin, and it looks like I'm just about out. So this will be the last print I can do in this resin coating session. So I'm just gonna scrape all the resin out that I can and put it all on this one print. And once again, you've seen this before, I'm just scraping resin to the edges, turning the print, making sure the corners get covered well. Nothing new, so let's just skip ahead. All right, looks good to me. I'm just gonna take my thumb here and scrape any extra resin off the edges, put it in the drying box. I'll come back to this in two days and take all these out and make sure everything's okay. And now it's cleanup time. Luckily, there's not much cleanup. All I have to do is take these gross gloves off, throw them in the little plastic cup, toss them in the garbage, and that's a wrap. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Thanks for checking it out. If you liked any of the artwork in this video, it is all available on my website. So go take a look at that at jeffclausen.com and subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.